the wait is over. Kind of. Like, there's still a little bit of a wait because I've got to drill it and whatnot. But it's here. The badass blue pearl. New blue hammer. I'll tell you what. This thing. Let's lay it out. All right, so the question is, is everybody's asking, is this thing gonna be anything like a purple hammer? And the answer, shortly, uh, I can pretty confidently tell you that it's not gonna be much like the purple hammer. This is gonna be cleaner, and it's gonna be more down lane. If you guys haven't already, I know you can't really see me, but you don't need to see my bald head anyway. But if you haven't already, go check out Ron Hicklin's video. He throws all three of them. He throws the purple hammer, this one, and the purple reactive ball. And everybody was questioning, they're like, is the purple reactive gonna be the same as the, pur the, the new not urethane ball? And no, even that is quite a bit different. The purple reactive is a little bit more down lane. This one seems to smooth out a little bit more. Uh, and again, I'm just going based off of what Ron Hicklin's video showed. I think he did a pretty good job showing everybody the difference between the three balls. Um, but I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I am going to lay this out uh, the same as my purple hammers. I'm gonna put a strong layout on it. So it's gonna be uh, the 35. I know that number doesn't matter with this because it's symmetrical, but we're gonna do 35 by uh, three and a half by, uh, what did I usually, uh, by 30. Because yeah, that tall pin, and it's gonna be up above my, my ring finger, just kind of like a standard league layout. And the reason I lay out the urethane type balls like this is because I want them to be as strong as they possibly can be. So that way when they pick up, they keep going. If you lay out urethane-like balls too weak, uh, it makes the core try to pick up too late after the cover has already tried to pick up and you get these weird over-under reactions. Uh, and a lot of the times the ball goes behind the head pin and you're leaving a lot of flat tents. Um, so I, I don't like that. I like to see the stronger layouts and make them really swoop the lane so I can go further left and get them to pick up. Something like this, uh, I think it was at 500, and I think you're gonna have to keep it at 500. If you're wiping these balls off, you're gonna have to really make sure you stay on it. You're gonna have to stay on wiping them off, just like the purple hammers. Purple hammers hook a ton in the front, in the middle, or in the, in the beginning, um, and then they start to kind of tame out just a little bit. So I expect the exact same thing out of this. So I'm gonna lay this out quick and I'll show you what it's gonna be. But it's gonna be 35. Do this real quick. 35 by three and a half by 30. Right there. Okay. Setting a record on speed of laying a ball out, I'll tell you that. Right, one quarter. And there we go. Here we have it. So you're gonna see fingers here, thumb there. So it's gonna be like this. So it's gonna be fingers, thumb. You can see how strong that pin is. You guys are used to seeing my pin, my fingers being over here with the pin above that middle finger, that ring finger over there. So this is gonna be different, uh, but I am. I'm gonna bring my purple hammer out. I'm gonna throw it same time as this. We're gonna review, we're gonna take a look. So you guys stay tuned for that. Uh, I wasn't sure if they were going to send me this ball. My my theory was maybe they, uh, this maybe will sound bad, but I'm like, maybe they won't send it to me because they won't want me to show how it's different than a purple hammer. But I think everybody kind of knows that it's obviously not a purple hammer, right? So um, I think we're going to try to get it to be as close as possible. Um, I think the cleanliness might actually help. I'm, I'm curious as to see if the cleaner cover that's not gonna hook so much in the front is gonna help, you know? But again, go watch Ron Hicklin's video, go see that, um, and you'll get a little bit of an idea there. So that's all I got for you. I'm out of here, appreciate y'all. Make sure to subscribe, comment, like, do all that stuff, and I'm out of here. We'll see you guys later.